the point is resourcefulness. It's important for us to encourage cooperation. Uh, and we, it's important for us to instill Islamic values. Like we say, parenting, the skills of parenting change. The idea is to achieve the same thing. You cannot use sometimes that which was effective on you, on your own child. With me, for example, uh, to this date, Alhamdulillah, my father is still there. May Allah grant him goodness and so on. He just needs to look at me. And I know that, you know what, he's, something's wrong. And I might kick up now that I'm an adult. I'll probably discuss and say, you know, uh, have a little discussion. And, and things will, will come up to say, uh, perhaps this could have been said that way. Uh, if I were to lead a salah or to give a talk, I think 10 times out of 10, I'll be told something about it. To this day. Uh, and something that, okay, I, I have been given positives, mashallah, but most of it would be corrections. Most of it would be how you can do better. Most of it would be how you can excel. Or what you said that you could have worded better. Or how, you know, what the, the epic, the highlight was one day, Ramadan, a few years ago, uh, I, I gave a talk, the first talk after the taraweeh. And I was, I was aware that it was live. It was being beamed live. And I got a phone call an hour later from my father. And he told me in clear words, very beautiful. He said, you know what? Uh, tomorrow when you're speaking, please sit and speak. Yes. And I understood a whole paragraph from that. He's trying to say you were screaming. You were yelling. You came across very strong. And you need to discipline yourself. So tomorrow I want you to lower your voice. I want you to think of what you're saying. Sit down so that you are more, more in control over your discussion. When you sit and speak, it's a totally different discussion. Those of you who are aware of some of my talks, for example, when I'm standing, you know, you, you have a different energy. You know, qum fa'anzir. It's the proper way of, you know, getting up and warning. The, the Quran says, you know, uh, the da'wah done standing is far more powerful. That's why the Jum'ah khutbah, you cannot sit and just deliver. Because it's a short, powerful, power-packed message. But when you sit, you have a different impact. Today we are sitting, it's a softer speech. Automatically. So when he told me, sit and speak, immediately I knew what's going on. I said, this, he's not happy with me screaming and yelling and so on. But he said it in such a beautiful way because I'm an adult. Uh, and alhamdulillah, the reason I say this is a lot of us, when we correct our children or we tell them something, we do it in such a negative way that they don't even want to listen to what we have to say. For your information, what I did do then is the next day I sat, I asked for a little chair and, and a few days I sat and then I just shifted the chair away and I stood, but I made sure that my volume remained, subhanallah, as it would have. This is just a point of learning from what I learned.